so we know that Clayton Eckert is being attacked uh, by uh, Jane Doe, which I'm not going to talk about her name so much today because my guest is under assault by her. You all know who she is. Uh, I'm not afraid to say her name, but I don't want to uh, get any of my guests in further hot water than they are. Uh, I'm still Mark Safe today from hearing anything from Jane Doe. Uh, I'm Mark Safe, so nothing has come through to my inbox, but she's welcome again. Welcome to send anything under the, as long as she knows, it will be shared with the public in its entirety and we will probably laugh at it. Uh, coming to the program now is a YouTuber that all of you need to know. And you need to go subscribe to her. Her channel is in the description. It's Liz Neptune. Get in here. Let's get you over 10,000 subscribers today. That's the goal. How you doing? <laughs> Hello, I'm good. How are you? I am. I loved your story I, uh, that you just told. I have a <sighs> reoccurring dream, actually, sometimes of of not feeding, of having cats that I don't feed. So when <laughs> I said that, I was like, oh my God, the not feeding dream. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah. So tell me, Liz, tell me about your YouTube channel. I want to know uh, what, when, how'd you get started? What was your intention? What, what kind of videos do you do? Let's hear a little bit about you. Yeah. So, I mean, I've had YouTube, my channel is as old as, you know, YouTube is pretty much it's from 2006. Um, I started out making fan videos for like movies or celebrities that I like. Um, I was used to be really into like Korean culture when I was a teen, but this my was daughter, before my daughter it was loves cool. that. This was before it was cool. Okay. <laughs> I was one of the, you know, this is back in 2005, you know? So I, I made, I would make fan videos and stuff um, back then. And then when I got into college, I started to do um, vlogs or like talking at the camera type videos. I would do trends. And then um, well, I've taken so many breaks throughout the years. Like I'll start and stop, start and stop. And then sure. I started getting, I started doing vlogs and travel vlogs um, a lot. That's like the bulk of my channel. But now these days uh, I'm focusing on like movies and television and things on the internet because I am like always been a computer person, always on online and stuff. And uh I work as a filmmaker and photographer, videographer, um, oh, that's actively. Yeah, so you should I, you should make a film about this situation. See, <laughs> I I said I was going to make a skit, and that got me in trouble. She mentioned that in the in the in the in the, in the cease and desist, the, cease yeah. and desist, the yeah. very scary cease and desist that has no legal authority over you whatsoever. Yeah, I was going to make a skit where it was going to show like the interaction of like her him showing her the house and then it was going to you know escalate into her asking if she can suck the tip a little bit and so apparently she didn't really like that and i don't know i thought it would be hilarious like i thought it was funny like in my head i was like oh i can see how this is going but i was actually gonna <clears throat> excuse me i was actually going to reach out just to just to ask dave like what are you guys is are you guys have a plan like what's going on because i have a film and photography production company wait Poseidon films um and so i was you know just kind of like seeing what's going on but uh there's people with you know much better resources than me that can do it but i was curious but i don't know i still well you should see if maybe you can know. collaborate because you know you're a big part of this story now yeah. this story has come to your doorstep oh, God. and uh you know using your talents to bring this to light would be really helpful i think i will i'll be there i if they do something i would definitely be a guest or an interview or something like i would definitely be able to talk about it i have so much stuff going on right now and so many projects too that i'm like it, I couldn't do it like now. I'm sure there's people who are like ready to work on it now. But yeah, how I came to making the video, the video in question, um, it to be clear, it was one TikTok video and then one YouTube video. Okay. And so I'm not sure if I've seen the full TikTok video. Um, it's basically like a three minute version of my YouTube video. Like, is that the one smaller. where you were just talking about, let's talk about how, how we get intimate with people and what, when we should get intimate with people. 
Because yeah. that one I thought was brilliant. Uh, I, you, <laughs> you could have been taking my thoughts out of my brain and just, you know, putting them out there because I had the exact same reaction to that. I mean, I'm a lot older than you, um, but, you know, in and I've made my own mistakes. It's not like, you know, one of the things it's like nobody's we're laughing at this, but nobody's judging uh, Clayton, really. It's like, we yeah. get it. The culture is this hookup culture. I got the beginning and uh, part of it in the 90s when I was in college where it started to be really, you know, crazy. And we were all doing stupid things. So we've all done stupid things and gotten lucky that we didn't get caught up in, in something like this. But nowadays, it almost seems like it's so far out of control. It's so far. The pendulum has swung so far. Yeah. And Nick Campbell says we're judging him some. All right. We can't yeah. help but judge a little bit because we do think that at some point, like we have heard some of these stories before. So it's almost like, when do we learn? When do people start to learn that maybe jumping headfirst into these super intimate relationships so quickly is just a bad idea? It's almost like diving into a three foot pool, you know, yes. like you just or dark waters where you don't know if there's a rock yeah. there that you're going to be paralyzed on, you know, just, just not even checking and just yeah. going right. We've all been told don't jump, don't dive headfirst into a lake when you can't see what's under the water. Yeah. That's how you get paralyzed. Yeah. And it was, it was a lesson that I had to learn hard. Like I've talked about on my channel, like I've been running around New York city. I mean, I'm in South Florida now, but I was, you know, a city girl, like, I traveled and stuff like that. And it was a hard lesson that I had to learn too. And la my last situationship, while it didn't end like this, it was, I should have, I, like I said, I saw red flags, but I should have given it a longer bit of time to like get to know this person, like see how he moves and see how, you know, just kind of like feel him out and get to know him longer than I did because I would have been able to realize that, oh, this is not someone that I want around me. This is not someone that I want, you know, kind of thing. And then someone I dated recently, I took it really, 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 really slow. Mm. And I found out something about him, like, you know, a month, a month and change in. And I was like, oh, wow, this is like a really, really big deal. And so mm. I was able to like, kind of, uh, turn myself off at that moment, you know, instead of going to the yeah, point without, of no return. And, and, and then it's easier to extract also yes. if you're not, if you're not in that, you know, physical relationship, it's so much easier to say, you know, I don't think this is right for me. And we're not then, you know, the thing is, is that people ignore science sometimes and science, especially for women is a little different than men. Um, sex, sex actually bonds you to a person chemically. And that's mm -hmm. a really difficult thing to get away from. It's like your, your, your body chemistry is telling you, you need that person. And that's really difficult to kind of make your brain work uh, and tell you, and you know, you can't listen to those better ideas coming from your mind because your body is screwed up with this chemical attraction. So it's a really difficult thing. This is why when when P and I don't preach at people because I told you I've had a, I had my own difficulties in college and my, I had to learn my own lessons and everybody has to learn their own lessons. You have to learn it for yourself. Sometimes I was always the person you couldn't tell me what to do. And I'm still like that. I have to learn it myself, Same. you know? So it's not like I, I, I want to run around pointing my finger at anybody. I just want to tell people to be careful, just be careful who you give that to, who you decide to lay down with, you, you suggested, and I loved what you said about it. You said, you said you should talk. You should have more conversations. Just keep talking, keep yeah. talking. And you'll, eventually you'll find it. You'll, you'll hear the things that you need to hear. And I'm, I'm so with you on that. I think that's yeah. a great idea. So there was that video. And then what was the, uh, what was the other one? So my, so basically the, I said the same thing in my TikTok originally, because I think I was in my car or something and I had watched, I don't know, maybe a Dave Neal video or something about this situation still going on. I'm like, this is so crazy. Like, and he kept talking about why is nobody talking about this? And I'm like, yeah, why is nobody talking about this? Like, I don't understand. Like, what is she doing to people that's like scaring the crap out of anybody, everybody, which I would later learn. 
Um, so I basically was like, oh, I have a little bit more to say. So I just made a longer version of the TikTok video. So I, and then I included more personal stories. I include, you know, stories of friends or people I know and stuff and tried to give some more examples. Um, but like with regards to that, like getting to know people, just talking to people, it sounds so simple, but it's, it, it, but it's like people just aren't doing it. And I feel like the two big things that you risk happening here is that either one, you know, you may run into a situation like Clayton did where you meet someone who doesn't have the same family planning ideas as you. So mm -hmm. you, you, you guys didn't even get to talk about, about that. Like what would happen if the situation, mm -hmm. so they don't have the same family planning idea as you. And then potentially you may end up doing it with someone, even if you can handle the, the one night stand, they might not be able to. And so now, like I said, this situation where you did it with someone who really, really, really could not handle something like that. Now, there's other people who could who can't handle it and they cry for a couple of days They move on with their lives. You know, they may block you, whatever, and stuff like that. But then it could also end up like this. Yeah. Speaking of this, so you made these videos. Now, I, I watched most of them and I watched your reaction. I didn't see anything that you did uh, that could be considered any form of criminal harassment. This, it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. Um, you know, Jane is, is very uh, delusional when it comes to what is free speech versus what is uh, defamation. She doesn't know, but she writes letters like she does know. And that is the thing that, that kills me. Um, Chat GPT, baby. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if it's just because she's had so many years of taking people to court uh, that she's just, you know, become good at the, the lingo. But it is good for people to know that if you should ever get something like a cease and desist, you should know that it, it has as much legal weight as toilet paper. And you may use it the <laughs> same way that you use toilet paper. You can wipe your backside with it and throw it in the garbage. I literally said I was going to do that in my video. Yeah, <laughs> I would wipe my ass with it. Yeah, well, that's what you should do. And we've got so this is it. This is this is her cease and desist to you. And I thought we would. This is the second one. Oh, was there another one? The one I sent you. Oh, you have it up there. L O, L O email one. Oh, that all right. Hold the on. TikTok. Hold on. That's the t wait. She's that's the one she sent first. Yeah, she sent that to TikTok. And then she, but she counted, and me. Wait, she counted that as the her first attempt to to contact you. I count it as her first attempt because she sent me that shit. <laughs> well, but what's funny about her second email, the one that's to you, but is she that she says, like, I insist on the issuance of a cease and desist order to pro pro prohibit the use, production, dis dissemination, aforementioned copyright material or any other content using my likeness. Or whatever. Oh, right. Okay. But in, I mean, legally speaking, she's already in a bind because she didn't send this to, it's not a, to you. It's not a request to you. It's a request to TikTok just to remove your stuff. Uh, there's a lot of words here. Um, and it's funny. I, I, I am writing to formally notify TikTok Inc. of explicit violations. Wow. I'm getting Ex deja vu. <laughs> explicit violations committed by the account. Help spread the word 33 on your platform. The aforementioned account. See, that's a $10 word she, she learned from legal documents has engaged in severe cyberbullying, cyber harassment, and copyright infringement, resulting in flagrant breaches of TikTok's community guidelines and federal law. I want yeah. that that Trump. Wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> the Trump sound bites you were playing where you're just like, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. You are fake news. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, she uses a lot of words. Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions. Exactly. I'm like, <laughs> this is so funny. A private video, which I own the copyright to, was posted exclusively to my personal Facebook page. Okay, hold up. Stop. Stop. Ma'am, Facebook is public. 
Yeah. If you post something, this is not a monster, by the way, not a monster energy drink. (laughs) Hashtag not a monster. Uh, I am also, I'm drinking caffeine, but it's just regular coffee. It's a seltzer. Uh, She she thinks that she could, that she can control what people take off Facebook. Now, as a reporter, I get a lot of stuff off Facebook. When I'm in, when I'm investigating somebody in a story, the very first thing I do is go to their Facebook page. I have been told that her Facebook page is not closed. It's open to the public. Now, I haven't even checked. She wants it that way. Right. She wants so it you, that way. You can't say that it's exclusive and you have copyright. You, you, you do have copyright over, like she's got, you couldn't take her video and repost it in its entirety without uh, changing or commenting it on it because that wouldn't be fair use. But that's not what you did. Uh, did you use a clip from it or something? Or was this somebody else on TikTok? So, that- this is the thing. That person is not even me. Help yeah, that's spread the word. Account. 33 is not me. My account is, all, of all the gym, of all the gin joints, is the username. I tried uh-huh. to change it to Liz Neptune, but maybe it's a difference between your username versus your name on your page. But my account is of all the gin joints. So this person, who I'm actually not fully convinced that the person who posted it is not her um took my video and they made like a new form of content with it like you know remix fair it. use fair yeah. use and for me i am like like i've been on youtube for in the beginning i would never strike somebody i would never make a copyright i would never ever ever do that so i'm like they used it that's fine with me that they used it you know is and the, I, uh, is it still up or did she get it taken down um it's oh my i mean my channel is still up if you if no, you, i mean the, the oh original. yeah that channel is still up you can go yeah look at the video Ooh, I want, let's go watch it because i don't know what made her yeah so i didn't pre- i, I didn't play it. it on my channel but yeah we can watch oh you it. didn't okay well no. i will oh wait i hate it when i open let's tiktok go. i'm not i don't have an account on tiktok because you know it's from china china <laughs> and i don't i don't trust it i don't trust it it's a spy app and i think everybody should get off of tiktok but i know that you young people you love it you just love it uh it's fine, i don't I'm not gonna lie. i haven't I been on it in a while it. though because their advertising has taken over the platform in a really ugly way so oh this this uh hold on here let's stop this this account has a ton of stuff <clears throat> about this case <clears throat> Uh, you're gonna have to tell me. You're gonna have to tell me which video. <laughs> you should it. be able to look and tell which one. Oh, there it is. Is this it? Is this the one? They put me in all three of these videos with this. Oh, geez. Pool. Yeah. Is it the same video over and over again, or they're all okay? Different? So it's not the third one. Maybe try the first. One. Yeah, yeah. Try this. Like first this one down two, here. Two one three five views. Yeah. All right. Wait. I can't it's hear like it. Times. Frickin' 10. You imagine Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? It's like times frickin' 10, okay? It's like <laughs> Amber Heard times frickin' 10. About literally the worst thing that happened to a person that happened to me in March of 2022. Oh my oh, god. I was... Is this real? Is That's this what I said. If you look at my comment on there, I'm like, is this real? <laughs> is this real? There are no tears, by the way. I really don't want to talk about this. <laughs> so I'm on TikTok talking about it. Because I really don't want to talk about this. But he said he's going to talk about it if I don't. Well, not if I don't. He's just going to talk about it. He didn't even. He didn't say that. He just. He's just going to talk about it. Never heard yeah. uh, If you just like online teen drama and the Bachelor and Bachelor Nation, get into it. He was accused <laughs> by a woman of fathering her unborn twins, and what is coming out allegedly is that she's not pregnant at all, and she's like literally making his life a living heck. But Clayton is claiming That's that he so only funny. had oral with her, and now she's <laughs> gone and saying that she's pregnant, where he's like, it's completely impossible. This woman has money. She's, like I said, very litigious, and she's making his life a living hell. There's theories about, you know, her in court, like wearing a fake pregnancy belly and everything. It looks fake to me. Now, you indicated that you spoke to the media. It looks fake to all of us. <laughs> online. Is that correct? I will have to go back and look through my screenshots, but I have one where at one point it's over one of her boobs. And I, I'm trying to figure thing. out if she still has the that. sleeves of the thing I'll on her. Yeah, she's wearing I'm sleeves under that. Another sample. So the result but of why? Like, okay and it's flesh color can you pause that for a second Uh uh-huh because i feel like something is really wrong i mean something's obviously really wrong with you if you order a fake pregnancy belly for this type of thing but to not even try to disguise it that's like a whole nother level of like 
what what's going on here you know what i mean and, like and do they, do if, they, if you didn't even try and make it real looking <laughs> like i don't understand I know. that i'm wondering if we can maybe find one that's flesh colored um i looked them up i looked them up one because i because you know i got a lot of props and stuff because of stuff stuff i made sure. so i'm like oh maybe i need to get one of these why i'm gonna get one that looks actually real though not one that looks you know if i have a a a role for it for a character yeah this there they have them in silicone they have them in foam they have them like they most of them are like body suits yes i don't, this one's I like, don't looks see like one a with vest. long sleeves but like this is it, i know she's definitely wearing flesh colored sleeves underneath that you can't see it that great in this video because it's a little small on the small side and i don't know how to make anything big because i'm I'm that's my problem. I can't get anything to embig in. I don't know what my problem is, but that's what she said. I have boomer <laughs> tech issues. And anyway, but but when you watch it on a full screen, you can see the wrinkles in the sleeves. So yeah. she's definitely wearing like flesh colored sleeves. It doesn't look real to me either. And the attorneys have put it now. Eckert's attorneys have put into their motions that they they believe it's a moon bump and they it's in there that it's in the documents. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen that. Jane, we can talk about this. Her opinion, Liz's opinion that she thinks that this is fake is her opinion. She's allowed to have it. You're the one who filed a petition, went to court, a public courtroom where they live stream hearings when that's your own fault. If you didn't know that public courtrooms in America are open, I refer you to the Constitution that says you have a right to a public hearing. Uh, and, that, and that means Clayton has a right to a public hearing because he has a right to face his accuser and the public has the right to see it. Uh, and you can't change that because that's in the constitution, ma'am. And I uh, said, allegedly, I mean, come on. Like, no, you did. You didn't on. do, you didn't do anything wrong here. You said, <laughs> I don't know if it is, but it looks like it to me. You didn't do anything wrong here. Your honor, is it possible for me to show Clayton that I am in fact pregnant because he hasn't seen me? No. <laughs> My results will come back on Monday or Tuesday of next week. <laughs> That clip no. never says cease to make me Test laugh, man. That judge is like this. Do not sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that clip never, she said no. So That's bad. the judge with the good hair. That judge has great hair and she's like, no, sit down. <laughs> sit down yeah, man. i can't imagine having a baby with a crazy person man like i don't i people i was so annoyed last night when they were talking in the interview about how he was reacting to her i was like he was being very tame because if it was me if it was me oh yeah I, when they were trying to get him to say he regretted stuff yeah I was like, come on i'm like he are you kidding me like <sighs> Are you serious? And I said that in my video too. I said he said some really horrible things to her and he had every right to do that. He had every right to. And now there's new news that wasn't even included in that podcast that she is no longer pregnant. Don't you mm. think their uh their audience would have benefited from that? Yeah. Why didn't you do an yeah. update at the end to say, yeah. and by the way, she submitted a motion that says she's no longer pregnant and we don't know how or why, or, and she still hasn't shown any death certificates and there's yeah. no, there's nothing. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That, that I, someone made a comment that's, you know, probably a high ranking comment talking about that. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, especially since the news has been out for, you know, over a week, maybe almost two weeks now. Uh, they could even had him send in a short video of, of giving like an update or something. And, and I don't like how he prefaced the video with saying like, it's a, he said, she said, it's like, it's like, I have, it, I watch a lot of court cases and stuff like that. And this is one of the ones I've seen that has the most like written on paper, evidence, pictures, screenshots, like it's all there like Six. someone edited me last night with her with misery misery like, oh hell was it fucking no guy oh sorry i don't mean to curse but it's okay oh, you can't hell isn't no that, guys isn't that like, funny no it's funny because like not long ago i had compared her to misery with clayton Did you? yes i was like she gonna have clayton like paul sheldon in the bed <laughs> you know i'm your biggest fan clayton and you know break his ankles with a sledgehammer like just to keep it's him scary. around but i i feel like that's like the um that is the reason for the lawsuits and stuff is like it's clear that you know 
she, like many people, has an issue with, you know, maybe abandonment, being left or something like that. And so I believe she's doing this to keep in touch with them, to keep them around. Even if I have to keep them through the law, even if I have to keep them through suing them, even if I have to keep them through this, I'm going to keep them around mm. somehow. It's it's unfortunate. I want to finish the rest and of this. Said, no, no fetal DNA present. Let's go. This individual that was supposed to submit a sample, their second sample after the first sample came out, so there was no fetal DNA. They were supposed to submit a second sample yesterday. It was confirmed they never showed up and submitted a sample. So this individual sent me an email last week uh, and sh showed me the ultrasound video. Um, I already had my suspicions because again, I already knew this was not real. Um, and this morning I found the YouTube video that this woman ripped the video from. So she took the ultrasound from a, a YouTube clip from six years ago. When she fakes a pregnancy and makes her own ultrasound pictures. I can't even know where to begin with Dave. He said he, he would stop talking about me for ten thousand. He wouldn't stop talking about me for ten thousand dollars, but then he went for a million dollars. And he said that since he started to talk about me, pay that man his money. money. His YouTube has bought up four <laughs> times. Um, well, it's funny that now her lawyers are asking him how much money is get, it going to take. I know what I heard that I said. Give that man his money. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she's got a lot of money to spend on all these lawyers that she used to take all, drag all these men to paternity court or whatever. So she's got money to pay Dave. Pay, pay up ma'am pay I mean, the money from what he's saying though is you know that that she's using uh you know the or these organizations and public resources to get funds to fund these things um which is you know nuts so i'm i'm wondering what she actually does have what she actually does have access to like i'm curious about that because from you know from what it seems it's seeming like a lack of employment to me the fact that she has all this time to send all these season assists until constantly read reddit all day youtube all day uh follow dave all day like you know do all these things where is the employment where is the income coming in like where yeah, is the well, income yeah well i mean i I would imagine she's living on her parents' property, she said, in the casita behind the house. And I imagine <laughs> that they are funding this. They they have to be, I think. Victim. She's I don't know abuser. if that's true, obviously, but that's what people are if, saying. If, yeah. if that's true, if it, they, if need that's to, true. they need to seriously do some more research because this is, this is crazy. I never yeah. saw this video. This is like... I know when I had when wow. I saw it, it was apparently about five days old at that point. And I was like, why? Because I've been following this. So I'm like, why haven't I, why haven't I seen this anywhere? But, uh, you know, apparently she was getting it taken down, but she didn't even post it. I mean, if they have it, then that means that she posted it publicly. You know what I mean? In some oh, yeah, form, no, she did. Matter. Yeah, she posted it publicly. Now, here's the thing. Even if I only have my Facebook page open to my friends. If one of my friends takes my video and downloads it and puts it somewhere uh, with commentary, I can't sue them for that. That's not copyright yeah. infringement. I mean, it might not be a nice thing to do, but she put this out on the internet. Like this is what happens when you put this stuff out on the internet, yeah. especially, and she says, people are talking about my past. No, no, we are discussing your public documents with allegations that you made in them in public documents. Yeah. And there's all this evidence attached to those documents, emails, uh, you know, text messages. All of those things are in the legal documents that are available on the public docket in Maricopa County. You cannot then go and complain that people are invading your privacy uh, when we you put want stuff... We want <laughs> when you put stuff out there in public to see if i don't want something online to get out i don't post it online yeah, you don't put it there period mm -hmm. i don't post any i don't post it my dog's trying to come up i don't post i just don't post it online because you never know where it's going to end up like don't post it i damn sure ain't posting no videos crying let me tell you that i am <laughs> damn sure not posting no videos of myself this crying. is like a so that was the video that you didn't even make that no. she then sent you this um, she, cease she and desist. Told, she went and lied to TikTok and said that I own that account. And she has no... And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, she clearly has some form of brain that she knows how to do this. She knows how to find the right contacts. She knows how to create these, you know, litigious emails. So she knows when she watches that video that that clearly 
is a, you know, fair use, a restitching, a remixing. She knows when she sees that. So she intentionally tried to loop me in with this person to get my channel taken down. There's no way you watch that video and and you're like, oh, this person owns both of these. Like nobody yeah. is thinking that. No, well, she's just trying. She throws a lot of stuff at the wall to see what's going to stick. She used, she used um, a clip of Clayton in that video. Why didn't you say that Clayton was the owner of the channel? Why right. did you pick me? Like I'm in this video. Well, in she the picks same people. Ideas. She picks people that she thinks will not be able to fight back because you have your channel's too small, or you know she thinks she can intimidate and scare you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, she, I noticed that she has not tried to contact me. Not at all. I don't have one email from her. I'm starting to feel a little left out. Uh, <laughs> um, that Dave's Dave's uh, doing great work, and yeah. So let's let's get back to this uh, ridiculous cease and desist. And I, I think it's it, we, it should be noted. TikTok clearly did not take it down. They didn't do anything. Your channel's still up. This channel's yeah. still up. The video is still up. So she Clearly, was unable yeah. to she was unable to get that taken down. Yeah, and rightly so. It is not illegal by any means to make uh, fair to use fair use of anything. TikTok account unlawfully obtained. Nope, not true, because <laughs> you put it out online and exploited. Yeah. Nope, not true. This private video, I need, where's Trump? I need Trump. Wrong. <laughs> and exploited this private video without my consent. Wrong. Don't need it. Uh, don't need it at all. Nobody cares. Or authorization. No, Wrong. don't need that either. This unauthorized use constitutes, yeah, Wrong. no. Constitutes a clear violation of my copyright. No. Wrong. It's, it's actually fair use and has resulted in egregious cyberbullying and harassment. Wrong. Nope, you don't know what cyberbullying is because none of this is cyberbullying. Can, is... can I do the next paragraph? Or yeah, you... <laughs> go for is it. it the... the individuals behind this account, Heads Help Spread the Word 33, has been identified as Liz Neptune, who has also had an account with the username of all the gin joints. <laughs> I have corroborated this by comparing the woman discussing me in the videos and have established a clear connection. Moreover, of all the joint joints has extended this harassment by posting additional videos on their personal account targeting and harassing me further. Like, that's just how I imagine her. Like, <sighs> <laughs> like that's literally how I picture her doing these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she has a lot of anger. Um, and she also doesn't understand the definition of harassing. What she is doing is harassing. She is harassing. And all, all of us who are covering this story are trying to bring attention to the fact that she is a harasser, a serial harasser, and needs to stop harassing yeah. innocent people. Liz Neptune is innocent of these ridiculous charges. Hear ye, hear ye. And we need to stop the harassment of Liz. Liz is being harassed. This is actual harassment. Liz has done nothing wrong but give her opinion on the internet like anybody is allowed to do about a yeah free Dave. Welcome, Dave. <laughs> free Liz Neptune okay. is right. She's welcome to give her opinion. Uh, this is America, ma'am. This is not Saudi Arabia where there's speech police. This is this is some this is not it's not okay uh, what you're doing to people and trying to curtail their first amendment yeah. rights. Yeah, no, um, this is crazy. I like this one too. Uh, <laughs> the actions of help spread the word 33 and of all the gin joints egregiously <clears throat> contravene TikTok's community guidelines specifically prohibiting hate speech which is not a thing. Actually, hate speech does not exist in America. And it's funny when people try to use this as a legal argument, because I, I, I give you a, an assignment, Jane, go to the laws and the codes of our country and find hate speech anywhere. Wait, no, you I, will I honestly, I think that this is the first time I noticed that she said that, like, because I guess when I was reading it, I was in a freaking daze. Like I was so whatever, but I did not realize she accused me of hate speech. All right. So uh, in contravening TikTok's community guidelines, prohibiting hate speech, <laughs> harassment, and content causing emotional distress. Sweetheart, your emotional problems are yours alone. And if you, something causes you emotional distress on the internet, I suggest you turn it off. That's your, that's your option. Turn it off. Furthermore, these actions represent a blatant infringement of federal copyright law. Like oh, she is accusing this is ridiculous. Me 
of federal crimes, guys. Yeah. Well, federal all crimes. Is, okay? All of this is ridiculous. Copyright. You are. This is completely uh, fair use. Okay. She doesn't know what she's talking about here. This. Tell me you don't know what copyright means without telling me you don't know what copyright means is what this is. Failure to comply with my ridiculous demands will prompt me to pursue legal action to protect my intellectual property rights and seek appropriate legal remedies of both against both TikTok and Liz Neptune, who is the creator, blah, blah, blah. So she asked TikTok to take it down. They didn't do it. Um, let yeah. me look at, so then you get this other one, this communication, dear Miss Neptune, this communication is my final attempt to contact you. Yeah. That was after I told, she said this cause I responded and I told her to literally go to hell with TikTok mm -hmm. and on the email. I told her to go to hell. Don't ever talk to me again. You're miserable. You're, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then she said this. Uh, I, I, my, this communication is my final attempt, acknowledging your stated <laughs> preference not to receive further messages. I want to clarify that my intention in reaching out is to extend an opportunity for resolution through a formal cease and desist. There's no such thing, sweetheart. It's just a letter of you complaining aimed at preventing <laughs> unnecessary legal actions. There is such a thing as a cease and desist order from a judge, but th a cease and desist letter is not a thing. It's just a, it's just a letter of you whining that anybody can just throw in the garbage. I want to unequivocally assert that I am not a public figure. False. False. Wrong. Wrong. Let me tell you what exactly. <laughs> you have like an Alex Jones ones too. That's funny. Oh yeah, I do. I do. Here, here. I we love go. when he's. You will pay for what you've done, and I pray that God send angels to visit vengeance upon you. <laughs> When he screams like that, I fucking I die. I, I, know, I love him. I love him. You are a limited purpose public figure. <laughs> it is that? a legal it is a legal term used in defamation cases to establish that the plaintiff is a limited purpose public figure. And it, we could prove the following uh with you. The plaintiff or Jane had access to channels of effective communication. Hmm. She's got a podcast and a microphone, a public podcast. She calls herself a popular broadcaster. She calls herself a, um, or she, she has, she has a, a, a Instagram account that is verified, right? She, so you would call those channels of effective communication, wouldn't you? Yes. The, uh, Jane voluntarily assumed a role of special prominence in public, in the public controversy. Well, she went to the media. She went to the sun. She went to people. She went to all the page six, gave her information. Take and a then little soup for the soul. She was in that book, you know, that she did a Ted talk. Mm -hmm. She went on uh, medium and published an article with her photograph and her, and her name. Okay. And I'm, her email at the bottom of this email saying she's not a public figure. She had all her links, all her social media, everything, mm -hmm. at the a picture of herself, all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the controversy existed prior to the publication of the defamatory statement. Check the box. The controversy was out there before Liz said anything about it. It had been in the newspapers. It For was months. in the public. It was in the public docket on Maricopa County. She is a limited public figure, whether she wants to be or not. She is a limited public limited purpose public figure and unfortunately for all of us on youtube we are all limited purpose public figures so it would actually be very difficult for any of us to sue anybody else for defamation because of those that definition I, uh, once once you pick up a microphone and you tell the public what you think about something that's it it's over for you you're a limited purpose public figure i'm looking it up here i posted the video uh, well, I posted my YouTube on December 7th, which means I probably posted the TikTok maybe like the first or something. So the story was kind of already stale by the time I even got to it. Like it was months in when I actually, you know, posted about it. So she 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 clearly has not read the legal or recognized standards. And I also want to know how does a how does a county superior court affirm they didn't. a private citizen status? Like they did, how they, do they, they do that? They don't. They don't unless she goes through a defamation case, and then they would decide that during that defamation case. And I, to my knowledge, there isn't one out there. This is just something I think she made up. And 
in a 2022 case, I mean, maybe she made that argument in a in a filing of some sort. And she thinks that that means because the filing she made the filing that it somehow gives her the status. But it, it, it a judge would have to rule. And I don't know. Did she did she give you any evidence that this is the case? No. So no. I would just ignore that. Underscoring she thinks she has privacy privileges with me by sending these emails. So who knows what she thinks? Yeah, I don't know if she ridiculous. thinks I'm her attorney or she thinks I'm her therapist I don't or her know employer. What... You know, like <laughs> I don't know. The only thinks. way that stupid David Shane, who was Amber Heard's uh, PR person, had his attorney send me and uh, my my uh, employer a cease and desist letter, and on the top of it, it said not for publication, and we laughed our asses off because yeah. it's like you don't. You don't get to control me. You don't get to send me a letter and tell me what I can and cannot publish. I'm a journalist, for God's sake. If you send me something, it is clearly going to get published if I find it interesting. And there isn't <laughs> a goddamn thing you can do about it. I'm not going to ask your permission. I'm not going to. You send it to me, it's going. Like, it's like the same it. thing. If you don't respond to this email, then I'm having the babies. <laughs> it's like right. literally the same thing. Like, if you get like, this she email, she can that means you can't post it. It's so crazy. She has no authority whatsoever to tell you what you can and cannot publish in your own email box. If you don't want someone to publish your emails, Jane, don't send them. That's yeah. the only way. And this argument that, you, that you've violated her privacy is, is just insane. Yeah. How dare you, sir? My Instagram <laughs> loving wife has always wanted her privacy. And like when I, when I posted the videos, like obviously I knew, okay, there's some kind of like I, it's a small niche interest of like people who are following this. Now it's starting to grow, but for a while it's very small niche interest. So I'm, I, I didn't make this feel like, oh, I'm about to like, I'm about to blow off this. I'm about to go viral off this. Like it had a couple hundred views and it was like, it was just like a regular, a regular type video. I didn't even post a video on Reddit and like, hey, hey, look, I just made a video about the situation. Come check it out. I didn't even, even do had, any. I didn't even do any cares? of that. If you had, yeah. who cares? Like for, and by the way, folks, I am encouraging you to please make sure that Liz gets a, something positive out of this, which is oh, thank way you. more subscribers than she has. I'm going to drop her link <laughs> for her everybody video. has been, you know, following and shouting out. And I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys like movies, TV shows and internet garbage, like definitely follow me. You'll like the stuff that I talk about. I like your videos. I think your videos are great. I think you're creative and I think you're funny. And I think there's, Thank you. There, I think it's terrible that this is being done to you. And I think she chose you for a reason. Yeah. She chose you because she thought you wouldn't be able to fight back, which bothers me. Oh, a hell of a lot. It bothers yeah. me. It bothers me. And this, like I said, this aggression will not stand, man. I will not stand for this because I do not like to see a, a person like her with immense power and privilege here, because she's the one with the power and the privilege, yeah, uh, trying to shut you down and hurt your career. Yeah, uh, it, it's 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 absurd. And I'm dropping the link to your channel so that people can go and subscribe. It is also in the description of this video on Rumble and on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, please on, on locals i just dropped it in there as well please take us uh, take a moment to go over there and hit that subscribe button right now liz is at right now 6.46 thousand subscribers uh she needs a lot more from this because she's been through a hell of a lot <laughs> and you. i imagine that when you got this you you felt some anxiety and fear did you not yes i definitely did i definitely did and it was like when she as you know we'll get to that email eventually like when she decided to contact my local sheriff's office, I'm like, I mean, bitch, you've gone too far at this point. Like she's already went really, really, really far with Clayton, but now mm -hmm. you're taking this internet shit where I barely was even talking about you. I wasn't even really talking about you were not the focus of the video. I didn't right. post it was no really documents. General, I didn't post no anything. Yeah. No, it was like general dating advice. And and it's like you can't you cannot shut down people's free speech in america because yeah. you don't like it if you don't want people to talk about you do not file fraudulent stuff in court records that journalists can pick up and talk about because then yeah. you're gonna have everybody talking about it i mean this is it's it, it's outrageous it's outrageous that she needs to be stopped because she has uh serious problems and this and she doesn't understand she she makes it sound like she understands these things because she uses words and things lots of words billions and billions of words but none of these words add up to anything this is all a bunch of nothing 
And yeah. nothing she is alleging here is is prosecutable at all in any way in America. Um, all right. And so she, and I just want to say this, like she was wrong from the situation from the be- very beginning. And so I talked about it and then she's the one that is doing wrong. And then she turns around and, you know, accuses me of crimes, federal crimes and says, I'm harassing her. So it's like, it reminded me of that situation. I don't know if you remember, it was like a year or two ago with the white lady in central park in the central park ramble. And the guy who was like bird watching and he was like, lady, you can't have your dog in here. Like this is for birds. You know what I mean? Put your dog on a leash. I think it was what it was. And then he had the dog off the leash. Yeah. And then she's like, calls the police and she's like, Oh my God, so scary. Black guy over here. Like that's literally how it feels. Frankly, that is exactly what she's doing to you. She is is exactly what she's like. I'm the angry, intimidating, harassing black woman, big black Mm -hmm. woman that's attacking her. I'm Mm -hmm. just like, it's just not fair. Uh, So she's saying the following violations, she's accusing you of, I love this, the Communications Privacy Act and the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Those acts are about hacking. (laughs) Hacking. I didn't even bother looking it up, Megan. I I didn't even bother looking it up. I knew it was foolishness. So the idiot that sued me in this story that I wrote, shout out (laughs) the Bizarre War, the the big book, she also tried this. She tried to say that I had violated the Communications Privacy Act and the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. This is something that psychopaths do that when they think that uh, they can get away with it. She's yeah. going to try and say that her Facebook was hacked or whatever. Because, no, she posted it. You posted it in public. It got out there. It is now out there and you regret it. You cannot then turn around and go and uh, tell, say that people are hacking your computer. That's insane. It's ridiculous. And if you guys want to look those acts up, you can, and they, you'll see. It's all about hacking, illegal hacking into computers. It's ridiculous. These laws protect against unauthorized access. That didn't happen. And disclosure of uh, uh, electronic communications. That didn't happen. You, she sent you the electronic communication and you have the right to then take, it is now in your possession and you can go and put it anywhere you want. I am well within my rights to request the removal of this content. Nope. Wrong. You're not. The following violations arise from your recent actions requiring immediate rectification. The unauthorized dissemination of my private email to you. It is no longer private, ma'am, when you send it to someone. It is no longer private. It is now in the hands of the person you sent it to, and it's up to them what you went, what, what they're going to do with it. And TikTok and Reddit infringes, infringes upon my rights of privacy. You don't have rights of privacy when you've done this stuff, when you've put stuff out in public. You lose your right to privacy after you do that. Freedom of speech does not condone the unauthorized disclosure of private communications, especially when it breaches federal statutes. Like, and, But it doesn't. Nothing you did here does any of these things. This is total bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> President. The ECPA safeguards against unauthorized X. Ex- I can't even read this. It's so dumb. The highly, number two. This the is highly, the best part. This is the best part. The highly alarming nature of your accompanying statements, including specific threatening and harassing remarks, such as, as for you, Laura, go straight to hell, is deeply concerning. Oh, no, you're not allowed to tell someone to go to hell. Yes, you are. You could tell her to fuck off. You could actually say this. Go fuck yourself. She, she was probably like, but go fuck the bit, yourself. The, 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 yeah, with her face. She was like, <gasps> when she read it, she was like, <laughs> oh, no. So I just see her doing that, doing that. She couldn't believe that I that I said that to her. She's trying, you're cl- clutching her imaginary pearls. Like your, comments, your comments indicate a clear form of harassment. No, they don't. They're free speech, ma'am. Free speech. Just free. I been saying like Dave is a saint. Like Dave is a freaking saint for how he's been. You know, he cracked some jokes here and there, but he's been a saint how he handled this. I'm like, yeah, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Like, I'm not going to be cordial. I'm this not is going hilarious. To be Look at this. Especially polite. It's not going to happen. Look at this. <laughs> Considering your threatening remark on Reddit, I got time today, implying an intent to create harassing content against me. 
Oh, 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 Laura. She's so corny. Like, you, she does not I know got, what I got time. I got time. I, mean. I got time, too. I yeah. got time. <laughs> I got time, too. That is not a that is not a threatening statement in That's any way. That's basically what you said to her. You were like, you want to come after me? I got time. <laughs> I got time for that. I got time. I got resources. Lawyers. Yeah. I got lawyers all over the place. I, I'm, I'm dripping in lawyers over here. Fantastic <laughs> content. It's my channel's reached 25,000 subscribers. Let's keep it going. Uh, three, your past videos on YouTube. Oh, wait, no, I and, think I might like this part better. And TikTok <laughs> advising men on how to avoid individuals like me, despite my complete absence of any criminal history, which is a real damn shame. She really should have one by now. Or questionable behavior. Really? She She's thinks delusional. she has an... She has an absence of que even questionable behavior she won't even admit to. Wow. Is a blatant act of defamation. Yeah, no, it's not. Not at all. It's not blatant. It's not defamation. It's just an opinion that you think yeah. and I think that she's got a lot of red flags Maybe. and that men should be very careful around her. Well, I have a question about that. What is the difference between an opinion and defamation? Oh, well, defamation... Explain. For one thing, in order to prove defamation, you would have to know that the thing you were saying about her was false. Do you know that any of this is false? No. No. Do you are do you have malicious intent? No. No. Did you accuse her of a crime? No. She's the doing that to you. Idiot. She's accusing you of a crime. So in order Federal to be crimes. in order to actually defame someone, and and by the way, when you're a limited public uh or public limited public person uh, it's it's harder to prove defamation defamation of a public I'm saying it's not i heard it's not easy like it was a lot for johnny depp to go and actually do that and he's johnny depp you know what i mean right right yeah, yeah. defamation claims in general means that you made a statement about the person and the statement was false it was seen by others and you knew it was false and you did it anyway maliciously like there, there's and most of the time it's it's not just a statement that's false, like, like, oh, it's hard to say because you, you have to like a, accuse someone of a crime, like something that is that would uh, ruin their reputation or whatever. It, the, the absolute defense of defamation is the truth. You have to also prove a mental state of the person you're saying is def defaming you. Um, basically, you must show that a defendant acted negligently or carelessly while in others, a plaintiff must show the defendant acted purposefully or intentionally. So that's mm -hmm. a really, it's a high burden. And um, I don't believe you were acting intentionally to do any harm. And in fact, <clears throat> you said you didn't know what was true. Uh, and that if it, if it is true, and all, and all of us are saying that, we're all saying, yeah. we don't think you were pregnant. We don't know if you were pregnant. And if you were pregnant, where are the babies? Yeah, that's what I want to know. I mean, heck, I'm dreaming about where are the babies now. Now I'm all <laughs> yeah. nervous about the babies. What happened to the babies? Yeah. I mean, if it's true, what she's saying, if this stuff is true about being pregnant, she was past 20 weeks. The law says she has to provide a uh, either records from the abortion that was done or termination, fetal death certificates. Uh, she's got to tell somebody, she's got to show this to the law or there's going to be an, or there should be an investigation into what happened yeah. to the babies. Uh, you know, based off of his inter, I mean, who, who knows? It's been a couple of weeks since he did that interview, but I feel like, I feel like he's probably like over it. Like he's probably not going to pursue the what? No, the he's civil not. You don't, no, no, no. you don't think so. You think no, he's going to pursue I, a I civil think... suit? Well, he's first of all, he's not done where they are in the in family court. They have a pending motion to stop her motion to dismiss. And yeah. their pending motion is fire. I'm sure you've read it. Uh, the one yeah, is yeah. it's fire. It's like, you, no, you're not getting out of this. You're not. No, honey, you're not going. You're not taking your ball and going home now because you have dragged this uh, defendant through ridiculous levels of stress you yes. now and you've hurt his reputation so now you must prove to us that these babies either existed and whose babies they were or you have to say you were never pregnant because yeah. this is not going away you did these things you filed these things in court yeah. and now we need to know we we need to come to a conclusion and i'm actually very disappointed in the family court for not already forcing her to show proof of paternity or even proof of pregnancy yeah 
They have not forced her to show actual proof through medical records from an OBGYN. All yeah. she showed them is a screenshot of an appointment. That is not the same thing. <laughs> I encourage her to to share these records. Are you, are you kidding me? And there's a particular <clears throat> group of, from what I understand, cluster B personality type people who mm -hmm. do this kind of thing frequently. Yes. Because like what I was saying earlier that I, I personally, cause I've done so much research on psychology. I read so many books, like just for fun, just to figure out my own stuff. Like I'm really into that. It's like one of my uh, Roman empires, just like this, it's just like psychology and early childhood psychology, dysfun dysfunctional family psychology. And um, like, for me, it's like, she's doing this, like people, like I said, of the cluster B, area do these kind of things to stop people from getting away from them from leaving their life like you notice when he, clayton told the story as soon as he said you know oh this is you know it, it was it's not gonna happen again she just broke down crying because that was like oh he's gonna leave me you know and mm -hmm. then trying to get him to sign the contract really I'm trying to get him fired yeah oh my or like god trying to, trying to get him to like he sent her the document for her to sign for the um the houses and she sent it right back like within a minute he's like hey you didn't even read it and she's like no i want you i want you as my realtor like we have to sign the paper because she wanted to like have him contractually ob obligated to keep in touch with her and like all these actions all these actions i personally feel i don't know i personally feel like these are actions that she's taking to keep Clayton, Greg, Mike, all these guys, she she cannot let go of them. She cannot let go. So she's going to keep in contact with them somehow, keep them in her life somehow, even if it means suing them, even if it means filing false things. She just wants to keep contact with them. She doesn't want them to like abandon her or something like that. You know, this is just, this is funny too. <laughs> that one's a good one. <laughs> I got to get these. Oh, oh did so we mention fun. that she sent me these on Christmas morning? No. Is, is that, Shut up. has that been, has that no. been like established to everybody? Stop it. She Christmas sent morning. Me these on Christmas morning at, I believe, 1150 something Eastern Standard Time. So that means that she woke up early that morning at the crack of dawn, okay, with a stank ass breath and crust on her lips to send me this fucking bullcrap email oh, like God. either either she woke up super early on christmas morning to do this when she should be with her family mm. or making breakfast she or she made the email previously and waited until christmas to send it to me which i don't put i don't put past her because clayton talked about how she tried she filed something against him while he was doing his appearance for some kind of pickleball competition he was hosting and oh, she Lord. sent it that day and he was like, I know she sent it to me that day because she wanted to ruin my day. Like, and I mm -hmm. feel like that's what she did to me. She wanted to ruin my Christmas by sending me that. So that's why like at the end of his interview, I felt like he kind of made her a little bit of a sympathetic character a little bit. But for me, like, I don't feel bad for this woman. I do not pity her. I do not, oh, she she doesn't know what she does. No, she knows exactly what she's doing. And she's doing like intentional malicious acts to literally torture the people that she's going after. Like I could have been in here, you know, I, I talked about how I lost my father and my grandmother six months apart, three years ago. So this is my third Christmas without them. I could have been here Christmas crying alone all my family was gone out of town so i was alone christmas i could have been here having the worst fucking day and then get this email from her and it just made my day worse luckily that wasn't the case and i was like oh okay now i have something to do today thank you thank you thank you uh voldemort for giving me something to do on uh christmas when i when i would have been bored but she she she's in she is intentionally inflicting emotional distress on she people. is. She is. And Intent this is intentional intentionally is the, it's key. Intentional. Is the key. Okay. So speaking of, <clears throat> let's get over to <clears throat> now her attack on you with the Broward County, using the Broward County Sheriff as a weapon 
yeah of intimidation which is very in my opinion it's very serious this is a this is a very serious thing that she did and i believe it might be the thing uh that finally gets the notice of law enforcement involved in this although i don't know uh what they can do if it because of the out of state nature of this um but but i'm going to is your is your email address public liz i want to make sure i don't show it if it's not i don't um because the redacted really. one is, it's not, it's not. Okay, so I let mean, me. you can get it. That's how she damn well got it. She yeah, how did she get it? She how did she get to, it? I think she went on my YouTube channel and you can you get my email from my YouTube channel. Like you just okay. type in like a capture gotcha. or something. Yeah. And you can, I, actually, it, maybe it's probably available. No, it's okay. I can just, I, here, here, I got it. I, I got it. It's cut off of this now. I have to All be right. reached somehow because I get clients and people reaching out to sure. online for work so but i have we, to have we don't need to we don't, available yeah we don't so this is this actually came as you can see this came on uh, with a from now the the email address has been redacted here just for purposes of nobody i don't want people emailing this uh this lieutenant yes great um, thank you <laughs> but it says sheriff's office down here broward county do you see this little logo down here and it came from a sheriff.org email address now i did get him on the phone i he said he sent the email he wouldn't let me read it to him so i i couldn't confirm whether or not he wrote these words which is why i followed up with the with the media office who has not gotten back to me by my deadline which was 10 a.m this morning i asked to hear from them by then or i would go forward and publish his email in full uh as as written uh, and with his name on it. Uh, so if they are, and apparently Broward County is admitting this is what he did because they will not respond to me. Well, let me check what, respond before I say that. or I'm having the babies. <laughs> well, this is the way the media works. If I respond reach out or to I'm you. I'm publishing the article. If I, well, if I read, if I reach out to you and I say, here's what I think happened here. And I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me something else happened. And here's my deadline. And you don't yeah. do it by then. I, that's how. The media works. I then go forward with my story that I thought that I think I have. I'm not finished with the article. I'm actually going to give them another chance. I'm going to call them again, try and get somebody on the phone to say, hey, listen, I need you to tell me, is this legitimate or not? Because if it's not, I don't 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 be messing with my reputation by not responding to me to tell me that this is there's something hinky going on here. Um, so I'm going to call them again. But here's what was sent. Now, what I really hate about this is that and I, I don't want to show the email part but i can i'm telling you it says in the two box to liz and it's only copied to owens but it is addressed miss owens her name is redacted off of here but it's Wait it's addressed to her oh yeah to me do you see that see her. but this yeah. but the letter is addressed to her yeah so she asked him to, she gave him my email and asked him to send it to me. And I have never seen a police yeah. officer do this before in my life. I have and never, ever seen a cop do something like this. He did not. Now, let's confirm these things, Liz. Did this lieutenant call you? No. Did he email you before this asking what happened here? No. Was any attempt made by the Broward County Sheriff's Office to to? call you to investigate this matter before sending you this letter no okay <clears throat> here comes the letter that she gets liz gets out of nowhere miss owens i acknowledge the distressing incidents i acknowledge boy these are strong words i acknowledge the distressing incidents of criminal harassment not alleged criminal har harassment just criminal harassment defamation not alleged actual defamation and unauthorized disclosure not alleged just unauthorized of private communications and keep in mind folks that the phone call that he got from owens came from arizona into broward county where liz is liz is a broward county resident they owe her a greater duty of service than they owe some woman in arizona did they give her any care of service no none no duty to her whatsoever and they had and she's the one that they actually have a duty to protect and serve it is crucial oh wait of private communications that you have been subjected to you have been subjected to this by an individual identified as liz neptune this, this is I, 
horrible. Can I just say that, like, looking at this, it reads like how she writes. I know. That's why I was trying. I know. It does. This is why I'm like, the I don't understand why Broward hasn't got back to me yet. I don't understand why I sent this to them yesterday, two days ago, two days ago, asking them to confirm that this is actually a thing they did, that this it's lieutenant like, did. Yeah. An individual identified as, it's almost as if like, as th there should be like a line across like a blank and you just mm -hmm. fill in whoever's name, you know, goes in there. Like that's how it reads. I've never seen any police officer write like this and they never like to put things in writing, but he did yeah. confirm to me on the phone that he emailed her. I, yeah. I believe that this, I first believed that this was a fake letter, you guys, but it came from his email address, which I confirmed. How could she send an email to Liz from his email? But then also did like, have we gone through, because I have like gone through the avenue of calling like the publicly listed sheriff's office number and seeing if this is actually his cell phone and we're not calling like an actor or something like. No, I called him. Yeah. Not on these numbers. I call, I went onto the web, uh, website of the Broward yeah. County Sheriff and I called him. Yeah. For, I called the sheriff's office. I asked for him. They yeah. transferred me to him. He identified himself. I asked him if this, if he had a conversation with Owens, he first said no. Then he said, I don't recall. And then yes, he said, I yeah, remember, I, yeah, yes, I did email her. And so I said, oh, you did talk to her then. Well, I can't talk to you anymore. <clears throat> And then no, Nick, it's like Nick, Nick sheriff.org is actually their email addresses. I, I checked. That's their web. Yeah, their website. I thought so, too. I thought it was <clears> their so website. Weird. Their website is actually sheriff.org. That is the, the Broward County. I've looked it up through Google. It is. That is their yeah. website. I thought like when I read this, I was like, oh, this is just like a generic like I OK, I'm acknowledging you telling me this type of thing. But I think where I mean, obviously, you've told me this is really, really wrong, but like where he definitely definitely went wrong is like it's one thing if you would have responded to her like this and like hey you know here yeah follow through support you know maybe do a strain her you know kind of generic thing but when you send it to me as well it's that's a problem like that's clearly like an intimidation tactic you know oh yeah I mean? absolutely this and is sheriff.org if you go type in sheriff.org it is Sheriff Gregory Tony. This is the Sheriff of Broward County. I have confirmed these things, you guys. This is a real website. This is their county website. This is it. You can go you and all of their webs, all of their That's emails. The end guy, in, though, but just saying. No, no, this is the sheriff of the county. The, yeah. the this is their website. And all of their email addresses end in sheriff.org. Now I wish he had talked to me further because I wanted to hear him tell me that whether he wrote these actual words, although I don't know how he couldn't have because it came from his email address. Yeah. So and I want to just make it clear because it's not legal <clears throat> in my state. Uh, I was not a part of this recording. I had yeah. nothing to do with it this. Is no, Megan's in New York it. where it's two, it's one party consent. Yeah. So yeah. And I, I, uh, I didn't tell Liz I was going to do this. I have, no, I, I didn't don't... know. <laughs> Because I'm sure she would have said, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, I uh, because that's how everybody that's how everybody responds when I start looking into stuff. They just <laughs> they're like, please don't, I don't want to wait. But they, you don't understand. <laughs> this is how this works now. Like I I found there's a story here and I need to get to the bottom of it because this is this is really bad behavior on the behalf of the Broward County Sheriff. I mean, yeah. They're saying, I told you, I told you, us citizens are afraid of police, but police are afraid of reporters. <laughs> right, right, right. And I don't want you to be afraid of them. There's no reason no, for you I, to be afraid I, of them. And I'm not, my father was, I grew up watching a strong, uniformed police officer come home, federal agent come home every day, you know. So I didn't grow up being afraid of police and I'm not afraid of them now. That's why I called him. After I got that email, I called him. I was like, hey, can I talk to you about you know, about this email that you just sent me. And, you know, I told him the whole, the whole story. And, um, you know, he, 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 I don't know, it sounded like he believed me, but, you know, he probably sounded like he believed her if he spoke to her on the phone. And she's like, oh my God, like, uh, this, this yeah. big black guy over here is trying to, you know, like mm -hmm. <laughs> if she did that whole thing that she's been doing. If he wrote this letter, if he did, and I'm trying to get them to confirm that those words were actually his words because, my God, I can't even believe it. He has wronged you 
he has made it possible for a serial harasser to now have evidence from the Broward County Sheriff to weaponize against you. To yeah. we it, Listen, Sheila, it doesn't matter if she tr manipulated this man or you said it sounds like she manipulated the email. I don't know how she could do that. I don't know how she could do that. Honestly, I and he admitted that he sent her an email. So I am of, of the impression that this is his email. And the way that this is written allows her. Yeah, I'm going to FOIA request it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to FOIA request everything about this. I will FOIA his email. <laughs> oh, my I gosh. Will, I, just, that, I just haven't gotten around to it. I am going to uh, FOIA his emails. In fact, you guys maybe, don't fucking play. You guys do not play these no, games we no we do not we are not going to play this game this aggression will not stand man it will not stand i will not allow this i will not allow police officers to be used as weapons by a serial harasser by a, this right. this is a false what she did is a false police report now <clears throat> Him not doing one iota of investigation, not reaching out to you, a constituent of Broward County, before believing some random person from Maricopa County is outrageous. It is a yeah. lawsuit. It's I just not want this heifer to leave. Everyone saw my stream. Leave me the alone. She has gone too damn far. You've Way taken too far. this too far it's one thing to send me the stupid cease and desist it's one thing to get my try and get my tiktok deleted you freaking deranged lunatic or try and you know come after but to call like to and 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 this officer that she contacted is a very high ranking officer so all right how that's the, it we're doing they, it right now we're how sending. the hell did she get his contact info to do this like this is really a evil act a malicious act like you you know all this stuff going on you have all that shit going on there all that case you need to worry about and you're coming over here to try literally try to destroy my life and accuse me of federal crimes like you're trying right, to get me in trouble with the police you're We're trying to write, get me i'm going to send this for your right, request right now here we like go. is she trying to get me arrested like what does she want yes yes that she's trying yes okay like the, you're it's too far you here's how to do far. this folks this is a public service i'm doing right now i'm going to teach you how to send a FOIA request to any uh public entity to the pio officer which stands for public information's officer this is a FOIA request for non-commercial purposes by a member of the media uh to be returned to me electronically like I am based off of the email that he sent, like I am so curious what she said to this man to get him to respond like that. Like, what did you say to him? And then I'm going to put her email address in here, which I'm not going to publicize, but I'm going to use I'm gonna put it in there. And uh, please don't see. reach out to this cornball, okay? Yeah, it no, just, nobody, it just, nobody do any of that. Do not reach out to this cornball, all right. Harry Potter will 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 get her, okay? Harry Potter will deal with her. Let's yes, see. I have no idea why he would send it to me. I have no her idea. Address. It was definitely inappropriate. Yeah, you know, I and honestly, I agree. I agree with that. I agree that that's why this is not getting the attention that it deserves. Like people, I wish people were outraged about it you know and that was a thing too that i also want to mention that i wish clayton talked about i wrote a note here um i wish he talked about how she how severely and intentionally she tried to isolate him um anytime someone tried to help him and talk about this situation whether it was dave whether it was law talk mike whether it was you know any different type of people she would send cease and desist, legal threats, the same way she did me, um, trying to get people with the law, trying to sue them, trying to get them arrested, like all kinds of, of things. Like she wanted him to be alone and helpless. She, you know, sent the stuff to the media so that the media could cancel him and hate him. And then she, you know, contacted the media further saying that if you talk about what I did was wrong, I'm going to do all these kind of legal things against you. 
So then they didn't want to touch it. So then they just, she just, she isolated him completely so that nobody could talk about this so that he would be forced to deal with this in private. And like how he talked about, there was one point where he was just laying on his bed, staying at his ceiling. He couldn't function. He couldn't work. He can, and I believe all those things. And she got you like that. Like she did these strings to, to do that. So I just, I, and, and then in the end, you know, I, like I said, I felt like he kind of made her an, a sympathetic character, but I do wish that even though so apparently Nick doesn't allow people to name drop other creators on his channel. That was crazy. Yeah. So even, even with that, I still wish he would have said, and she all, and she also was going after anyone who would talk about this situation and sending them all kinds of stuff. So she was trying to isolate me and make sure that, you know, I I'm alone pretty much. And I, I all these things, it doesn't, these are calculated actions. Like it's not just someone, as he said, you know, who's in a dark place, who's in a bad place, who's, you know, not mentally well. It's like, no, like, you know what you are doing. You know what you're doing. Like you're trying to hurt people. It's, intentionally. So, it's very bad and it needs to stop. I sent the FOIA request. Uh, I don't know what Florida's time limit is on their laws. Let's see if I can find out. Florida Sunshine Law. I'm assuming it's going to take more than 10 days because almost every state has really bad sunshine laws, except for Illinois. Illinois is five days, which is incredible. Um, it doesn't give me a time limit here. So I'll have to do some research on that, but we're going to find out. Liz, uh, you've been through a ton. Please keep me updated on how all of this is going for you. You and I will obviously keep in touch, yeah. but this is, the, you're not going to, this is not going to go on. You guys all go and subscribe to Liz. She's got a lot of stuff going on over there. Make sure that she has support. Make sure that this doesn't go on in the dark. Whatever's going to happen to her is going to happen in the light and liz if if the police at broward do contact you i think you should tell them uh i'm you can contact my attorney i don't think you should speak to them i think you should wait i think you should get an attorney let's talk later afterwards and i gotta get running i got some stuff i gotta take care of today but liz thank you so much for being here i really yeah. appreciate you thank you for having me on and when i reached out i left a comment thank you for being so quick you were like here talk to me let me know Tell me what's going on. You know, like what, what's happening. Like, I definitely appreciate that because I was feeling a little bit like powerless after getting some weird phone calls, you know, and I was just like, okay, I need help. And I really appreciate you letting me come up here and say what's happened to me as well. Supporting Dave because, you know, supporting all of this is supporting everybody. So. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm, I'm just happy that we could help. I don't think people should be harassed like this for, for their free speech and you did nothing wrong, but exercise your first amendment rights. Thanks so much, Liz. Take care. Thank you. Bye.